Hi, in this short video, we're going to talk about the chain rule. So our goal here is that we have a function which is composed of two functions using function composition. That is, the two functions are chained together. X goes into G, first of all, and then the output from G goes into F. So we call F the outer function, we call G the inner function. And some examples would be, say, P of X equals radical sine of X. So our outer function would be F of G is radical G. And the inner function would be g of x equals sine of x. Well, here's the second function. We have p of x equals sine of x cubed. Now sine is the outer function. So f of g is sine of g. And the inner function is just x cubed. Let's look at one more. Here we have p of x equals the cube root of 1 plus radical x. So our outer function is the cube root function. f of g would be the cube root of g. And we'll like to change that to a fractional exponent. So that'll be g raised to the one-third power. The inner function is the one plus radical x. And we'll write that with a fractional exponent as two. One plus x raised to the power of one half. So how do we calculate the definition? So we'd like to be able to use the derivative of f and the derivative of g in some way to be able to find the derivative of p. So let's go back to our definition. We're going to have the limit as delta x goes to zero of delta p over delta x. And let's remind ourselves, what is delta p? Well, delta p is p of x plus h minus p of x. And here, to save a little bit of writing, I use h to be the same as delta x. So delta p is p of x plus h minus p of x. Well, what is p? Well, it's the composition. So that would be f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x. Now, if I think to myself, well, wait a minute, g of x plus h, delta g should be g of x plus h minus g of x. So if I just had a minus g of x in here, I would have a delta g. Now, I can put in a minus g of x, but that would change the problem. So if I subtract g of x and then add g of x, that doesn't change the problem. So let's look at that. 
this g of x plus h minus g of x is now my delta g. So this is really just g plus delta g. So I have f of g plus delta g minus f of g. Mm, now this is getting us somewhere. So let's go back. Delta P over delta X then would be F of G plus delta G minus F of G all over delta X. So I would have something that looks like a difference quotient for a derivative of F if I had in the numerator a delta G. On the other hand, if I had something that had to do with uh, X plus H, minus g of h, let's just say, or g of x, then that would look like a derivative with respect to x. So what I'm going to do is multiply top and bottom by delta g. That way I'll have a delta g in the numerator, and that will go with the f of g plus delta g minus f of g, and then I'll have a delta x in the numerator which can go with a new delta G in the denominator. So let me just do a little bit of algebra and rewrite that as delta F over delta G. Remember the delta F was this F of G plus delta G minus F of G. Now I have the delta G that I just multiplied in, in the denominator times the delta G that I multiplied in the numerator over the delta x that was already there. Well, now let's take the limit. Delta f over delta g, uh, as delta x goes to zero, is going to become f prime at g of x. And delta g over delta x is going to be g prime of x. And this is our chain rule there. The derivative of f of g of x is f prime evaluated at g of x times g prime of x. And we like to remember this as the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. Now we have to use a little bit of focus here, a little bit of caution. When we take the derivative of the outside, the inside does not change. We're just using that for evaluation. No derivative on the inside when we're taking the derivative on the outside. So we'll do one example. I'm going to do a subsequent video with many examples, but let's just have one to finish this video. I have p of x equals radical. 2x squared minus 3. So I'm going to change the radical to a fractional exponent. So I'll have 2x squared minus 3 in parentheses raised to the 1 half power. So my outside function is the radical or 1 half power. So the outside function would be f of g equals g to the power of 1 half. And the inside function is g of x equals 2x squared minus 3. So let's take the derivative then using the chain rule. I'll take the derivative of the outside. So I'll have 1 half g raised to the negative 1 half power times the derivative of the inside, which is just 4x. Now I can't leave g in my answer. So I'm going to go ahead and replace g with its formula. So that would be 1 half in parentheses 2x squared minus 3 raised to the negative 1 half power times 4x. And we should clean that up. So half of 4 is 2. The negative exponent can be brought then into the denominator as a positive one half, and then I'll change that positive one half back to a radical. So that finishes 
uh, our rules of differentiation, we now have the product rule, we have the quotient rule, we have the power rule, and now we have the chain rule.